Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to Apex Point. Now, Apex Point is a open world game that aims to immerse you in the Japanese uh, car culture by providing a huge variety of customization and race types so you can choose your own path. Now, this is a game that came out a couple of months ago. Um, I had a look at it and I felt like it was a bit too early. There wasn't enough there for me. We couldn't have really have done many episodes or anything. Now, there's been one or two updates. As well as that, there is one coming very, very soon, which is going to add some more cars and bits and pieces as well. So I think maybe now might be the time to slowly start Start putting some episodes out see how we go see how we progress see what we think of the game now welcome to apex point you can you've worked enough to save 1.5 million yen you can either modify your truck win some races or you can save more money for another car in the garage you can repair modify and tune your car approach the lift to use it approach the computer when you own a car to search for available parts approach the toolbox in order to change tool the wrench allows you to remove parts screwdriver allows you to fine-tune parts and the paint gun allows you to paint the car if you interact with openable parts no matter the tool you select it by pressing f you can toggle the cursor okay i think that's pretty much the basics right uh so look we get to start with well i wouldn't say it's a car it's more of a little truck flatbed thing uh kind of looks like those little toyota uh, hiatus was they called? I'm not sure. Everyone's going to crucify me because as usual I know my cars, but I don't know like the names of them all. I'm more of a parts person than, uh, than the actual car person. Okay, so we get this nice little dyno rack. Maybe we should throw this on the dyno and see what we're getting uh, before we start checking it out. There's our computer. This must be the wrench place. Yep. So, okay. Let's get the car over to the dyno. It must be done up here. We've got the huge dealer, dyno, light, parking, drive. Um... These obviously will just disappear parts. And here's our like little shopping basket. Okay, let's put it on the dyno. Here at the dyno, you can perform test runs, calculate your car's power and torque. To start, you should slowly apply the throttle until you're on a high gear from a low RPM and apply full throttle until it reaches the maximum RPM. Multiple tests will give you more accurate results. Okay, so currently uh, we don't have anything at the minute. I'm assuming we, we have to turn on the van. Okay, so the van's turned on. Sounds quite nice. Okay, uh, shall we put it into first gear? It's supposed to slowly build these things up. Wow, it changes through these gears so fast. Okay, I've only got four gears. So we probably should take note of what we got to see if we make any improvements in a minute. So currently we are at uh, 28 WHP, which is obviously horsepower. Our torque's at 44 newtons and a red line. We've only got a four-speed gearbox. We could probably do with another, another speed out of that. Okay, let's go back to the garage. So let's have a look what we've got here. So the cabin and stuff, uh, the door's not looking good. We can take it off. Uh, the door's not looking great either. Windshield is pretty banged up. The cabin itself ain't too bad. What my chair's like. The seats are actually okay. I think we can just take the whole cabin off, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather do it part by part. Front bumper. That's the right horn, left horn. Yeah, we could just take the whole cabin off in one, couldn't we? That's the dashboard. Steering wheel 91. And now the cabin's gone. Okay, so the flatbed truck itself, 1%. Ouch. Ouch. Now, I think I can repair parts in this. So it's a little bit more simplified, um, but I like that we get to drive around on this. This is the difference between this one and Cartoon Project. Cartoon Project is the opposite. It's a bit more, I think, uh, mechanic-wise, a little bit more. But uh, well, to be fair, though, Cartoon does have quite a lot of driving you can do. We just haven't done it yet. Um, okay, so let's have a look here, then. What is looking good? Should we start from the rear, because there's less parts in the rear? Okay, probably need to raise this thing, right? Okay, use F to use lift. All right, we just want it raised a little bit so you can see. So we'll take them tires. Uh, the axles are 56 spent. None of this comes apart. Damper's pretty ruined. Leaf spring's pretty poor. Uh, this is the anti-roll bar, 56. Okay, we'll probably replace that. Damper's gone on this side, yep. Yeah. Uh, the axle's pretty knackered. Fuel tank is okay. We won't touch that. Battery at 52%. Battery won't change our performance, but, you know. Uh, drive shaft at 78. It's not bad. Transmission 91. It could be a case we try and find a 5 gearbox. 
Uh, we'll see. Maybe we can change to a sports clutch or something. That might just give us a little bit of improved power. So what I want to do is just improve this one a little bit. I don't want to go crazy. If anything, I don't know, can we flip cars? Uh, steering rack. Should we, should we do one bit at a time? Okay, let's start in the rear because I don't know how complicated this is going to be. Okay. Uh, so what have we got? Body, engine, back. Okay, so if I click on these, these are all the parts that are only available to this truck in its current go round. I'm assuming. Okay, so let's have a look at suspension. Uh, these are all steelies, tyres. Okay, we're coming into... Well, we, we took the steering rack out. That was the front. We'll leave the front for a second. And then we're going to go down to the rear ARB. So this is the one that we have. But we can upgrade this. Um, there's 10 grand difference in that. So what I'm going to do, let's go for version 3. Okay, I think... Oh yeah, when you click on it, that's it. You paid for it. Uh, right rear spring. Well, we could repair the ones we got because there doesn't seem to be an upgrade. And same for the dampers. There doesn't seem to be an upgrade. Uh, what else we got? Struts. These are all front stuff now. Front, 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 front. Okay, so what about the... Uh, not, the not the slicks. The axle. Maybe that's up here. Steely. Where's the axle? Yeah, I'm sure the axle's in this in this area, right? It's not in engine, is it? Okay, we do have a better transmission. It's a five-speed gearbox, uh, so I'm gonna buy that. Dry shaft. We'll just repair the one we got. And exhaust. There doesn't seem to be anything bigger, and that's a shame because you know just by simply putting a new exhaust and stuff on can do a little bit. Without having to spend too much money. Okay, so the uh, the axle must be in here somewhere. Axle, axle, axle. Yeah, because I mean... Oh, there's a locked axle here. Uh, and an LSD. Uh, differential, lock differential, LSD differential. So I think LSD, it gives it on different wheels which need it. And the locked axle is probably more like straight line speed, isn't it? Because it just locks it. There's a big jump in price difference. You know what? Let's go all out. Let's go for an LED uh, LSD axle for that one. Okay, that should be all the parts that I need currently. So if we go back to the rear then, and uh, we go here, we can have a look at what we already had. So we know that the, we could fix these. So it's going to save me some money because there, there was no other... Um, parts available so I couldn't upgrade the dampers or the suspension in the rear we could sell that ARB in a second so I'm assuming the axle needs to go in first we could put in that new transmission oh hang on I haven't looked at clutches though that's an EF clutch okay we'll leave the transmission for a minute uh what else we got we could fix that battery right no it can only be replaced okay so the new ROB can go in so the anti-roll bar it's got a lot more tension on it. Uh, dry shaft we're going to ignore for a minute. And the transmission. Axle here we can sell. So we're going to get a little bit of money back. Uh, we can put the sp springs and dampers back in. Uh, where's the other side? Here it is. Damper. Brake drum. I don't think I'm going to put these wheels back in. I think that's something that we should definitely uh, look at changing. We'll sell the battery. And I'm going to sell the old transmission. Drive shaft, let's fix. Everything else I'm going to leave for a minute. So then, that is kind of the rear looked after. I've tuned it to the best we can probably do for the moment. With no new dampers or better suspension kits. So let's have a look at the engine. The engine itself, okay, so the steering rack, we're going to pull out. Let's get these wheels off. Okay, the caliper's in good condition, but I'm probably just going to pull it off anyways. Disc's in good condition. The knuckle is not in good condition. Okay, so let's uh, just keep going with these for a minute. Uh, the anti-roll bar on the front, we'll probably do what we did for the rear, if I can get it. No, it looks like I've got to take the strut out first. So uh, let's take that strut out. We take the knuckle out. 
The struts are pretty damaged. We'll see if we can put something better in. The arms are gone. Anti-roll bar. So that's... And that arm's pretty knackered. We'll see. If there's no uh, up if there's no upgrades directly available, we just fix parts. The frame is not in bad condition. So the motor itself doesn't seem too bad. Now, there's a few small things I think we could probably do to just to tune her up. And we'll probably get the best out of it we can. But let's uh, let's fix the front suspension up first. Let's see what is available to us. So we're still looking at suspension. All the parts are down the front here, really, weren't they? Uh, so discs are fine. Calipers were fine, weren't they? If I remember rightly. Uh, okay, so we could get some coilovers. That's a big difference between the strut we have. But they are adjustable. So that's front and right. Front left. They can only get version 1. So that is an improvement. It's more of a handling thing, though, more than anything. The knuckles we could replace. There doesn't seem to be anything better. Uh, same with the arms. Okay, there's not a lot much better stuff for the front either. Now, it might be just the trunk, or we just might not have a lot of parts yet. Uh, the front, we do have a version 3. There's only a few hundred difference in it, so we're just going to go for the third one. Okay, so we just literally need to fix up parts more than anything for the front. So let's, um, we're going to put the new anti-roll bar on the front. Uh, oh, we've got mounting all the knuckles and stuff first. So let's fix the arms. The ARB we can sell. So the two front arms are fixed, so they should go on. There you go, the front arms are on. Knuckles, there was no change, so again, it's cheaper for us just to fix what we got than buy a new... So those are two front knuckles. Here's our new coilovers on the front, which are adjustable. Uh, so we can sell the struts. And I mean, look, we're getting a little bit of money back. So it doesn't make it all so bad. Uh, where else are we at with this steering rack? Oh, okay, I didn't look at the steering rack, did I? So that means we can probably just put the discs back on. Uh, the calipers didn't have anything better. So we can just fix them up. All right, now they're a little bit odd, but it's fine. And then just a steering rack that I didn't look... Oh, wrong button that I didn't look at. So let's uh, let's go back in here then. Uh, suspension, steering rack, front. There was definitely some improvements for it, wasn't there? No, where did we see it? Oh, was it in the engine? Transmission... No, definitely the suspension then. Uh, okay, so steering, steering. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can get a version four, which is quite expensive. So I think what we'll do, we'll go for a version three. Like I said, I don't see the point of going too crazy because this is just going to be our first van. I don't know, can we flip it? We might be able to flip it for way more money. Uh, okay, so we can put in the steering rack. So that's a brand new steering rack. So we can sell these old bits. Uh, that's the rear anti-roll bar. We can sell you. Okay, I still need a battery. But there we go. That's the steering suspension done. That's quite a good upgrade. We spent a quarter of a million yen. Okay. Like I said, the engine's not in bad shape. Now, the one thing I do want to see is the carburetor here. I feel like if we change that carburetor, if they have a better one, maybe the manifold as well. Exhaust header. Exhaust pipe I'll take off because we're going to renew it. And then I need to have a look at the clutch as well. Crankshaft's okay. The block is pretty good shape. Ignition system... Depends if there a new ignition system too, maybe might help. Water pump. Radiator is good, alternator is okay, oil filter is okay. Yeah, I don't think there's much that we can do with this car. Truck, whatever we want to call it. So let's have a look at the engine then. So, we are looking for... There doesn't seem to be anything that we haven't got that is better. Okay, there's a carburetor here. So do we have any other carburetor? Yeah, we do. Look, there is a version 2 of the carburetor. 
we're gonna buy you uh, the airbox is fine we need a new battery the transmission we brought we can fix them things up uh, doesn't look like there's a better clutch available or the intake manifolds wow there's really nothing for this truck okay so it's more we're going to put a better carburetor on so that should help the fuel ratios and stuff uh, and then we've got a lot of fixing to do so the carburetor version 2 is what the new one isn't it yet so let's fix the flywheel uh, where's my clutch we'll fix the clutch oh, clutch can only be replaced okay well 78% it's okay you know it's not dreadful uh, we've got the new transmission that we can put on uh, what else did we take off drive shaft is absolutely fine so we'll put the drive shaft back on the tires airbox base okay it was the manifolds exhaust manifolds again I can't fix them well yeah we can I was hoping that we could replace them because again changing your manifold and stuff can really do uh, do justice on a little small thing okay so we want the carburetor version 2 hopefully that's going to give us something we're going to fix the exhaust pipe I'm going to throw you back on now brand new battery we're going to put on fix the uh, intake pipe might as well fix the airbox base while we're here then uh, the airfield is not bad top we can fix up We can sell the old car Breda. Uh, all this stuff we don't need to touch at the minute. Okay, so as far as I'm aware, that is probably the most I can do with it. Now we could probably tune it a bit, maybe. Left to use the toolbox, let's get the screwdriver. I'm hoping it's going to let me lean it out a bit, maybe. Okay, interestingly, no idea how to do it. Do I have to pull everything back off again? Uh, I wonder if that's a thing. I mean, generally, you, you tune with it all together. I'll wrap up, but, you know, maybe not. Ah. <laughs> Took the whole engine out. Um, might as well just fix the box there now. All right, how do I tune you? you? Maybe we're not allowed. Maybe it's not tunable. Oh. Which I find odd. Maybe maybe the whole thing, I don't know. We'll work it out. Maybe it all has to be back together before we can do any of that. So let's uh, just put the stuff back together. Right, so that's the engine. We've upgraded the transmission. We've got a better axle, a uh, new carburetor, which should help. Uh, there was no like bigger air boxes or anything we could put on it. There was, doesn't seem to be any upgrades to what we've already got. So the, I think the main thing will be trying to match wheels up in a minute. Uh, you know what we could do is just sell all of these. Okay, let's have a look then at the bodywork. What is available to us? So there are some different steering wheels, no different cabins, no different dashboards. Uh, okay, so there is, a, we can put on a hydraulic handbrake in. There's not a massive difference in these prices. You might as well just go for a version. Of, I think it's more of just what you prefer. I like the spanner, but surely that's gonna hurt your hand after a while. Uh, a roof wing. Screw it. So we could put bucket seats in this little van. I 
think we'll just put one seat in. Like, why do we want two seats? The bed of the truck. Again, these are all things that we can just repair, I think. Oh, there's a version two of the bed. So we could put this one in. Looks a bit better. Get some fenders put in too. Rear lip. That might make it look a little better. I think everything else I can just fix, really. Put a different steering wheel in. The gauge set is ridiculously expensive. Takamiya. Bed bars. It does need a new windshield. We probably can't do anything else with that. Okay, we do have some different bumper versions. Not massive difference in them two. We'll get version three. Might just waste a ton of money on this part, but who cares? Okay, so let's... Um, the bed version two. Whoa, we're definitely going to need some big wheels on this one. Uh, everything else I think we can fix ourselves, like the cabin. I don't think there is any change. So we'll fix the cabin. Wondering at this stage, do I need to paint it now so it's not rusty underneath? What do we think? Suspension is missing in some elements. Okay, so it looks like we have to put the whole thing apart. What the hell am I missing? Okay, cabin can go on. We got a new windshield for it. Now I've got a new front bumper. It's gonna be touching the floor this thing. Uh we got a new steering wheel. We got the over fenders for the rear. We got the skirts for the side here. We got the rear lip. We got the new tail lights. Uh we have to go buy a second seat. Because it's not put it in the place I want. Okay, well, we'll look at the seat a second because I have to get the same one again. Uh, hydraulic handbrake can go in. Roof wing can go on. Oh, that bad boy. Actually, no, take the dashboard back out. Might as well fix the dashboard before we put that back in. Uh, the horns are fine. Headlights in front are fine. Never mess with them, to be honest with you. Oh, front left seat. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Let's sell you. Sell you. Sell you. I've already put a window shield on the front. Bumper, steering wheel. Don't need any of this stuff now. The bed can go. We may as well fix our doors, so there was nothing else new for it. Uh, sell the bumper. Sell the steering wheel. Bed bars. Mount the cabin first. Alright, well we'll look at that in a second. I'm going to sell that seat again. Might be a waste of money because I need to make sure I get two of the same. Bed bars I need to look at in a minute. Okay, front right seat. Front left seat. Okay, that's why I made my mistake then. Okay, we're going to go for that. I'm not going to put a second seat in. I don't see the, why we need to put a second seat into this uh, truck, to be honest with you. Oh, it says I had suspension parts missing. I'm assuming it's just the wheels. I can't paint it without the wheels. Okay, so we've got our seat. I'll put the doors back on, even though I wasn't going to. I don't know what I've done with these bed bars. Mount the cabin first. Am 
I'm pretty sure the, the cabin is mounted, unless you meant the rear. It doesn't matter. No, that hasn't changed anything. Alright. Okay, so I need to find some wheels for this thing. So maybe I want some spaces as well. Definitely for the rear, maybe. I don't know. I'll look at suspension. I just want to see what spaces we had quickly. Okay, so... 35, 25. Let's go for a 25. That's rear right. Rear left. Front right. Where's front left? To be honest, the back should have been a bit further than the, the front. But sh we, don't, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so what are we going to put on this? I'm thinking 14s or 15s. Maybe we'd go 15 steelies. That's some sword. Where are we then? Uh, these are 14s. Okay, 15s. Well, they're the steelies. What the hell am I going to put on my truck? What looks good? They're not bad. quite like these so these are 15 by 8 the so 15 by 8 tires now this is the bit I don't get 15 by 8 bit 6 to 8 inch frames What I will do is buy one semi slick at seven to nine and one at under twelve. I don't even know if my rims are gonna go that far to be honest with you. Okay, let's uh let's put our spaces all on. Okay, so what were you? 205, 35. I'd say it was the smaller ones. Okay, so one, two, three. Really, I can't work this out myself. Oh, that might be why I can put it on. The lift has gone down. So that's a 205-35-R15. Let's just go down here. The 14s. 205 35 it was these ones seven to nine inch 205 semi slicks it was these wasn't it that's what i brought okay i think it was just because the uh the truck wasn't lifted okay so i put semi slicks in these bad boys oh we can open the doors nope that takes away the door Okay, let's put it down to the floor. I don't know if is that a needed... Alright, you know what? Let's just go throw it on this dyno. So I now have five gears. Okay, so we now actually have 34. So that's an increase of a little bit. Uh, 52 which is quite a good increase on the torque
Yeah. That's not bad, I don't think. Considering we didn't really add many parts, I spent more money on the bodywork than anything. I don't really have a lot much money left either. Okay, here in the paint booth, you can paint each part in your car. You can select the paint type, color, even mix your own custom. Note that heavy rusted parts won't always be smooth after paint, so it might need to be replaced. Oh, bugger. So... Yeah, I'm already not looking forward to uh, what this might be. I think we might go for a nice kind of... Got a red seat, maybe the orange. Let's see what this looks like, maybe. How do I paint you? Oh, I've got to buy a new cab. Okay, let's paint everything else, though. I like this orange. Um, but yeah, clearly this cab needs replacing. I'm not going to waste money. Uh, engine parts paintable? I think some are. Oh yeah, look. Okay, so we can proper make it look nice. no idea what we're painting now we're just painting it what about a bit of blue maybe Okay, this is where the metallic stuff is. Oh, the metallic is quite dark. I'm actually stuck on my wheel. I don't know what colour I might want to do my engine, to be honest with you. Bit of metallic yellow going on. Can't paint the block. I'll do the cylinder head. Yeah, there's not massive amount that we can uh, paint. And for some reason, you're getting stuck on all the parts. Uh, are these paintable? See, that's a shame. I could have painted them to at least look like the front. How did that yellow come out of that? Why is it so dark? Is it... Why is it not picking my custom paint? I am so confused. Why is it not picking that? Yeah, look, we'll just chrome that. Frigate. Chrome a bit of that. Alright, let's go back to the garage. So the cabin, unfortunately, needs to be replaced. Even though it's fixed. So that's a bit sad. It's a lot of money as well, but I have to pull it all apart. It means I need to buy new doors as well. See, I can't even do it like that because the cabin's got all the bits in it. Too worried about the carpet. I'll take the horns. 
I don't think there's anything else in here. Take the glass, maybe. The steering rack from the top doesn't seem to be a thing, right? If it is, I can't get it. Well, that answers that question. Okay, so we can literally just probably put on all the stuff. Need two new doors. Yeah, the glass has gone in. Okay, so two new doors. I just spent so much money on nothing, really. Just so it looks nice. Uh, pits aren't really a big thing. Why can't I find doors? Front left door. I'm hoping those mirrors can be replaced. Of all the things it could could have been, it's the wrong ones. So I don't have a left mirror. Okay, nice. We can go back to that paint shop now. Where the bloody hell are we? There we go. We're on top of the car. That helps. Uh, so we wear this orange. Oh, I'm bloody chroming everything. I'll paint the mirror. I think these are all the same, right? Oh no, I've lost my wing up here now too. Bugger it. I think it looks alright. I'm quite happy with that. I think it now looks the part. You guys might not feel the same, but I think it does. Get a nice screenshot of that. Post it in Discord. Okay, so. We're going to take it outside. We're not going to get to drive it properly. But... She sounds nice. Can we get a donut out of it? Not quite. <laughs> I get used to the gear changes. I think she's looking good. I'm quite happy with everything. So there you go, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. We're going to explore the town in the next episode. Uh, we're going to try and make some money, win some races, maybe see if this is sellable. I don't know. 
and uh, we'll go from there. So let me know in the comments down below, are you enjoying this? Do you want to see some more of this? Do you want me to carry on? Uh, I always put it to you guys, so let me know in those comments. Subscribe if you're new, hit that like button. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.